Hey guys, welcome to the lesson on minimal spanning tree. Uh, you will need some prior knowledge in networks if you want to understand everything in this tutorial. Uh, basically, a minimal spanning tree is when we have a network that has too many arcs connected, connecting all the nodes, and we want to get rid of some unnecessary arcs to minimize the number of arcs in the network but at the same time we want to make sure uh, every node is connected uh, in the network so let's have a look at uh, this network here we got four nodes A, B, C and D and all of these arcs connecting the nodes and the minimal spanning tree of this network uh, is actually uh, let me just draw that so starting from A we have connecting to B on the arc length of 5 um, and then uh, let's connect A to C on 6 and C to D on 9 so this is the minimal spanning tree oops let me just write that properly This is the minimal spanning tree of this network. Right, you can see that we got rid of uh, this arc here, 7, and we also got rid of this arc here, 10. Now, why do we do that? Because if you look at my minimal spanning tree, uh, you can get to a node from any other node in this network so for example if you're standing at B and you want to get to D there is a way for you to get there if you're standing at A there is a way for you to get to any other node that you want to go to so the minimal spanning tree is uh, sufficient if you just want to make sure that the nodes are connected and it get rid gets rid of all the unnecessary arcs. <clears throat> uh, so what are the steps for drawing a minimal spanning tree? Well, let's go back and explain how I drew this tree. Okay, so firstly what you do is step one step one you select a random node so let's say we select D okay step two you connect this node to its nearest neighbor and uh, we have C is the closest to D so we're going to connect C up to D so C and D are now connected now step 3 we're going to connect uh, an unconnected node unconnected node that is uh, in this case either A or B to closest to either to any of the connected nodes and 
The connected nodes are things I have already drawn in red. So C and D are already connected. And we're going to look at A and B and see uh, which one is closest to either C or D and we're going to connect it up. So A is 10 units away from D, 6 units away from C, B is 7 units away from C. So 6 is the smallest number and we're going to join that up to C and we're left with B so step 4 repeat step 3 until all nodes are connected <clears throat> alright so we're gonna join up uh, node B and the highlighted part is our minimal spanning tree. Okay, so drawing a minimal spanning tree for a more complicated uh, diagram. Okay, uh, let's say we have, uh, let me just start a new page. Uh, let's have J, K, L, M, N. And let's all join this up with a lot of connections. Uh, let's put three, thirty, twenty, fifteen. 20, 11, 16, 15, 12. And uh, <clears throat> so the task is draw the minimal spanning tree. Okay, so follow all the steps. Firstly, we're going to select a random node. Let's say we select J. Now the closest node to J would be N, so we connect that up. And then the closest to either J or N would be M, so we join that up. And then the closest to either J, N or M would be uh, L, so we join that up. And then the closest would be K, so we join that up. and that is the minimal spanning tree and uh, you can see that I'm also going to cross out the um, arcs that we're going to get rid of so this is not necessary this is not necessary this is not necessary and this is not necessary so the red part signifies the minimal spanning tree a minimal spanning tree a minimal spanning tree cannot contain any loops and that is a useful thing to remember because let's say you were drawing your tree and let's say you accidentally thought that this number 20 is part of your tree and you drew that there and what you discover is you have just created a loop right you have just created a loop from here okay now when you as soon as you see a loop right from one node coming all the way around back to itself making a circle then it's not a minimal spanning tree right because a minimal spanning tree should not contain any loops so there isn't 
it's not necessary for you to be able to go from one node all the way around back to itself again it's just unnecessary in a minimal spanning tree you wouldn't need to do that so uh, that's one of the rules you need to remember okay thanks for watching see you next time